This is an explanation of problem 1143. So we've got two similar prisms, so we're going to use our ideas of similarity. So we can either go from the smaller to the bigger, or we could go from bigger to smaller. This will help us figure out what the zoom factor is. So I need to find X and I need to find Y, so I'm going to go from 10 to Y. That's going to help me figure out what Y is. And here I know that the two bases of my prisms are congruent shapes, so if this length is 9, that means this length down here is also 9, so that's going to help me figure out what X is. So first I'm going to find my zoom factor. To figure out my zoom factor, I'm going to use 6 and 8 because those are the two, or those are the ones that I have numbers for both shapes. So I want to start by figuring out what x is. So I'm going to figure out what do I multiply 6 by to get 8. So to figure that out, I am going to do 8 divided by 6. And if I reduce that down, I get 4 thirds. So to go from 9 to x, I'm going to multiply 9 by 4 thirds. So here I'm solving for x right now. I'm going to do 9 times 4 thirds. When I do that, I can multiply across the top and get 36. The bottom stays 3. And then if I divide that out, I get 12. So that means that x equals 12. Okay, now I want to figure out what y is. y, I'm going from the bigger to the smaller, so instead of multiplying it by 4 over 3, I'm going to multiply it by the reciprocal, 3 over 4. So I'm going to take, to figure out y, I'm going to take 10, and I'm going to multiply that by 3 over 4. If I multiply across, I get 30 over 4, which reduces down to 15 over 2, or 7.5. So that's how I find x and y. Part B says, what is the ratio of corresponding sides of solid B to solid A? So if I'm going from B to A, that means I'm going from bigger to smaller, so I'm going to use this ratio. So I would say the ratio from B to A would be 3 over 4. If I was doing A to B, smaller to bigger, I would say 4 over 3. For this one, I don't really mind either way you have it written. If you said that the answer to this one was 4 over 3, I would also count that as being correct. Okay, so now let's talk about the base area. So remember, anytime we're talking about areas, we're going to use our zoom factor and we're going to square it because an area has two dimensions, a length and a width. So that means I multiplied by the zoom factor once for the length and once for the width. So I'm multiplying it by it squared. I am going from A, the smaller one, to B, the bigger one. So that means that I'm going to be using four-thirds as my zoom factor since I'm going smaller to bigger. So I can just take the area of the smaller one, 27, and I can multiply that by four-thirds squared. So the way that I do that is I square the top and I square the bottom. So this is going to be 27 times 16 over 9. So if I multiply that out, 27 times 16 is 432 divided by 9, and when I do that, I get 48.